This is a video that I actually wanted to do for a while. We wanted to go through our comments, well mine specifically since you're watching my channel, and answer those mean comments uh, <laughs> or, or provide an answer for a question that perhaps um, you guys left in the comments and maybe I never got to. I don't know. I'm not really, I didn't pick these comments or questions. I let Mark deal with that. So you know my buddy right here, MDLR Fishing. If you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. Um, he's going to moderate. He's going to ask me some questions and hopefully this video will kind of open up more about who RX Angler is. So without further ado, man, hit All me, right, hit me so, in the face. So here <laughs> we go. I've already pre-selected questions. Right. So uh, I got some juicy ones and some that are just straightforward, nice words of encouragement. So the first one is from Soul Wire J. Man, the constant sponsor plugs are getting annoying. <laughs> I, I used to really enjoy your vids, but now you fish less and plug old 18 rods more. Um, <laughs> yeah, who is that one? Soul? Soul Wire J. Soul Wire, Soul Wire J. I, I know I'm repetitive at times. I'm very grateful that these companies actually give us a chance. Um, they believe in my channel, they believe in Mark's channel, therefore they want to partner up with us and help help us grow per se and at the same time we're there to help them grow so me plugging that me plugging in companies like BioBait or old 18 it's just it's just part of business um doing what we do and at the same time it's me let me back up a little bit the products that i use on my channel they're we i use those products i mean you see me catch fish with them so when i'm using a product i gotta make sure it, it's working for me otherwise there's no video, right? There's absolutely no video, no fish caught, no growth in subscriptions. You, I mean, I'm just going to tank downward, right? So therefore, when I do use a product like BioBase or OL18, I'm promoting them because they're helping me out. And at the same time, I'm helping you guys out because they are actually working for me. So when I'm constantly repetitive saying, oh, OL18, BioBase, blah, 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 I'm in a way it's kind of business but at the same time it's you know from my heart because i actually really believe in their products and hence i'm using it on the channel but at the same time if i believe in something i'm that type of person where i'm going to keep on saying it and at the same time this is this is this is another weird thing a lot a lot of you viewers out there y'all don't watch the whole video okay i mean if i look at my analytics you guys watch maybe half maybe three quarters if i'm lucky so therefore, if you only watch half, you're skipping through a lot of the video. That's what's what it's telling me. If I don't if I don't plug in old 18 or Bob Bates, you're gonna miss it at the first 10 seconds. But maybe perhaps if I plug it in like at three minutes, when you're scrubbing all the way through, you'll hit it at three minutes. Oh, that's the way I think. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> but I'll try to be better next time. All right, cool. Just in time. So just so that y'all know, yeah. I've put a two-minute cap per each question, just so that we'll be able to answer a lot of y'all's questions. So here we go, question number two. Uh, this one's from Charlie Brown. Charlie and, Brown, okay. Uh, Jumping on the BioBait gravy train like your buddy, question mark. Does that mean Hoagie's finally dropped both of y'all? Oh, I actually do remember seeing this comment. Um, okay, hey Charlie Brown, listen man. No, Hoagie's did not drop us, okay? We didn't drop Hoagie's. Honestly, we still got hoagies in our tackle yeah. box. We got plenty of hoagies. And yes, we still use hoagies. And um, I try to make it, make it clear in the video that, you know, this was just an additional uh, lure that I could put in my arsenal so it'll help me catch more fish during, you know, different times. But because let's be honest, when you fish, there's no such thing as a magic lure. There's no such no. thing as a magic lure. One lure can work the next day, the next lure can work the other day, right? Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to build my arsenal and I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not speaking for Mark, but I'm assuming that's what he's trying to do too. Um, that's why we have diverse tackle boxes. I mean, if you look at our tackle box, we got hoagies, we got bio base, we got bugs, we got Strike King, uh, we got Johnson, spoons, gosh, what else? I mean, we got so a lot things, of crazy yeah. things in lots there. Lots of yeah. different things. Guggen baits. I mean, we got a lot of stuff in our tackle box. So, I mean, we're pretty diverse, but um, I am going to promote BioBaits because I do believe in their products. Once again, um, they've joined a partnership with RX Angler. And um, as I stated earlier, I'm not going to use a product that I know I'm not going to catch fish because that's going to, sh I'm like shooting myself in the foot if I did that. So, yeah. Good. 
Cool, good answer. Okay, so this one right here is from John Grimes. What's with the fish finder in two inches, or actually that's two foot of water. Anything under 10 feet seems to be a waste. Is that for show, question mark, or for deeper water, question mark? Um, actually, that's, that's, that's a fair question. Uh, thank you for that. Um, as you know, you guys have been watching my video. I do have a, the Hummingbird Helix 7 on my kayak, and yes, I do use it, but majority of the time, yes, we are fishing in, what, three feet of water or less in the marsh. Yeah, it's really shallow, yeah. right? Uh, obviously, you're not gonna use it to find oyster reefs in three feet of water or anything no. like that, but we do use it, well, I use it for water temperature, for my kayak speed, um, what else, for um, water temp, kayak speed, it keeps the time. Um, oh, different depths. I mean, because yeah. sometimes yeah. if you're you know, fishing on the grass line, it's like 0. 0.6 feet and then it drops down to three feet. You, that's probably an area um, you would want to you know, exploit because there could be some predatory fish there. And with a fish finder, with, if you look at our waters, it, it's murky. So there's no way I can actually see that you know, 0. 0.6 to 3 foot drop with that murky, muddy water. So therefore, yeah, it does come in handy in that shallow water. But yes, I do see your point. If I'm in inches of water, you know, having a fish finder probably doesn't make sense. But keep in mind too, when we go out to our area or designated area to fish, we are passing by channels and cuts um, that can get deep, 10 feet or more in a marsh. And sometimes uh, we're lucky enough to find like reefs in those cuts or drains. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't have a fish finder, we wouldn't be able to find it. So this one's from, well, I guess it's a phone number. Three, six, seven, eight, two, <laughs> four, three, two, eight, nine. You know who you are. Uh, does big red drum or black drum has worms slash parasites? Question mark. If they do, comma, how do like how would you deal with them? Question mark. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. If a fish has worm, the way I deal with it is I just don't eat them. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, simple as that, right? But okay, let's let's go back on a serious note. Big big black drum, big uglies. They're known to have parasites. I mean, even Texas Parks and Wildlife has, uh, I think on the website, I, I saw it a while ago, but they even mentioned it in the website. Uh, so therefore, you know, I try to stay away. Plus the meat, it's gonna be old and hard and just doesn't- It's just, rough. Yeah, it's rough, it's just not that good. So therefore, I'm not gonna catch a big black ugly and then cut them up and eat the fillets. It just makes no sense. Just ask the fish, if, yeah. hey, do you got worms? <laughs> <laughs> and, but but smaller puppy drums, uh, what anywhere from 15 to yeah. maybe 18, 19 inches. I think they're really good. The meat is really good. I just haven't caught one in a while. Therefore, that's why you never see me eat it on the channel. But redfish, on the other hand, I think I might have seen a couple of worms in their fillets, like on a mid slot, 24, 25 incher. Um, I'm not quite sure if they were worms, but they were the long stringy things. They might have been the nerves. Don't quote me, but they look like worms to me, like kind of like what you see in trout, you know. So um, to say that they don't have worms, I, I don't know. I, I'm assuming they do have worms because I feel like most fish have some kind of parasite. In every them. time I catch yeah. speckled trout, man, it's it's yeah. worm city yeah. every time. But have you seen it I in get red lucky. fish? I get lucky with reds every now and again. Like the the yeah. past three reds that I caught, none of them had worms. Actually, okay. it's a lie. I did have. Yeah. Worms. Okay. So there you go. I mean, this question. dude was about. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Yeah. Right. They're was, really long, stringy. Yeah. 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 So yes, redfish. We're not experts, all right? We're not. We're not marine biologists, but I, I think they do have worms. Um, that's why you want to, you know, carefully cut your fillets. But on the flip side to it is Texas Park Wildlife has said those worms, especially in speckled trout. They don't cause harm as long as you cook them thoroughly. So make sure you're not sashimiing up like I sashimi my fish and eat them on the spot. Make sure you cook them, all right? John Shin. Uh -huh. Ah, or is like, I, your fillet skills are improving, boss! Exclamation point, LOL. Yeah, I, you guys know. I mean, if you've been following my channel, I just don't fillet well. Even Mark makes fun of me. 
Uh, I don't think my fillet, I think I've improved just a little bit, but not to the point where it makes a big difference. Because I just filleted a fish the other day, and Mark started laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's, it, I don't know, man. It's like an art form. It's it's something that I know a lot of you guys that fillet well, you know, just comes second hand nature, right? But for me, I actually have to think about it. I'm staring at the fish, right? I'm trying to <laughs> make sure I'm making a. Maybe that's why I do it so bad because I'm like so careful. You just mess up. I don't know. What do you think, man? Uh, yeah, I think I'll start letting. No, I'm not gonna let you fillet my fish. Um, he needs a lot more practice. If he would catch as much fish as I catch, yeah, he would have some problem. <laughs> Whatever. All right, here we go. Uh, moving on to the next comment, um, or it's from Texas Kayak Fishing. RX, you have a great spouse there. I vote she accompanies you in more vids. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm pretty sure she would be happy to hear about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that day, it was it, honestly, it was our anniversary. I didn't really have anything planned. I was like, hey, you wanna go fishing? <laughs> and she's like, okay. Um, but she didn't, she obviously, if you've seen the video, um, she doesn't kayak fish, uh, nor she, has she ever kayak fish. So wave fishing was um, something that, you know, I thought would be safe for both of us. And she's wave fished with me in the past before. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to include her more in my videos. Um, I actually want to try to get her to kayak fish um, more, but you know, she's, um, she's very busy. She's a um, you know, working professional, mother of three. Um, you know, she takes care of the house. So it's, it's really hard for her to, um, you know, get out and go. And then if she does have an off day, she rather just rest at home. So, you know, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see if she'll come out more often and, and fish uh, with me. I mean, she's, it's always fun to fish with your spouse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I would say so. I, I wouldn't know anything about that, but uh, <laughs> honey, if you're watching. <laughs> All right, so same video uh, from Brent Billing. Uh -huh. And all honestly, bro, seriously, do you make any money from YouTube, question mark, like real money, question mark? You work hard on these vids, I'm just curious. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Um, and that's actually a question I get a lot from a lot of people that find out that, you know, I make YouTube videos. And they, the short answer is yes, I do make money from it. Now, is it a fortune? No, it's not a fortune. Um, but it has a potential uh, to become pretty lucrative where you can actually make a living off. And there's a lot of examples of YouTubers out there that actually make a living off videos. Like, for example, let's take the Guggen Squad. You know, Lunkers mm. TV, John B, One Rod. Flair, those guys, they're big time, and yeah. uh, they make they make uh, they make a nice living uh, making videos. But the the secret is 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 trying to get to that level because at my level, I don't I I don't make enough to make a living, but I do make enough for me to keep going. Let's, does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. Perfect so case. yeah, it's uh, it's bringing in cash, and at the same time, you know, I'm using that cash to. Um, support the channel. So yeah, I mean, it, it kind of breaks even right now. I, well, I would no, I, that's a lie. I'm still a little bit yeah. red uh, per month, but as I keep growing and you guys keep supporting by watching the you know channel and subscribing, slowly for surely one day I'll be at that level. Hopefully, uh, like those big YouTubers, that's my dream. I wanna, I wanna actually, you know, make this my career. Uh, a lot of you guys know I'm a full-time pharmacist. Uh, that's my profession profession, which is a great profession to be in. However, I find more joy making videos, fishing, and um, in a way I, I, I feel like this is a great way to help help you guys out. So, what the? <laughs> Your dog is choking on a uh, yeah, she's hairball. Cool. She's all good. But yeah, yeah, we do make money, uh, but it's not where you're gonna be super, super rich all of a sudden, no, it's not that way. And uh, this one's more like of a pet feed for me. I'm just curious what you okay. think about it. It's from Hold'em Hook TV. Uh, don't take anything by this. I just want to see how Nick answers the question. Hey, bro, I really enjoyed your video. It was awesome. Uh, I subscribe to your channel. Do the same for me. Your video was really great, bro. Keep it up. Hey, what's that? <laughs> um, Hold em Hold'em Hook TV. TV. Hey, man. I, hey, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the comment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, you know, I do get a lot of those requests. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm a I do marketer. too, so that's why yeah. I just want okay, to see how you so answer. So there's a lot of people that say, hey, follow, I'll follow you, you follow me type deal. 
Um, well, number one, it, that's that's not a legal thing to do on YouTube, and I'm not trying to be all like legalistic and all that <laughs> stuff. Nerd. But um, the way I see it is, if you want me to subscribe to you or follow you, um, in a way I feel like you should earn it. I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, big headed or cocky or anything. That's that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying, you know. There has to be a reason for me to subscribe to your channel. Um, and if you look at all my subscriptions, I have actually, I'm subscribed to a bunch of channels because I actually enjoy watching those guys do what they do or those women do what they do on the channel. Um, I actually, they their channel has, you know, caught my attention and it keeps me glued and watching their videos. So I felt like um, they've earned, you know, me subscribing to them like again once again i'm not trying to sound cocky or anything like that i'm just trying to explain um so bottom line if you ask me to subscribe to your channel because you're subscribing to my channel there's going to be one or two things that happen number one i'm going to ignore the comment or number two perhaps maybe your little i don't know avatar your little screen name yeah. avatar will catch my attention i'm like, oh, okay let me check this person out um, so I'll check them out and I'll look at your videos. Um, I don't mind helping other YouTubers. I really don't. If you come out and you ask me, hey, you know, bro, I need your help. You think you can fish with me or something? Give me a shout out. You know, like I said, I'm not a big time YouTuber, but I'd be more than happy to help you whoever out. But on the flip side to it, you have to show me something, meaning that you have to show me that you're consist consistently posting. Um, I post around three to two times a week, and I work full time, and I'm a father, a father of three, so I'm constantly on the you know ball working, whether I'm editing or filming or whatever fishing, I'm always doing something, and I feel like if you want me to, oh, wait, time on. <laughs> I feel like if you want me to subscribe to you in a way, show me that you work as hard as I do, you know. Um, once again, guys, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything like that. That's just the way I see it. I don't know. What, how do you see it? Uh, it's, same, it's kind of the same way. I mean, if if you would see behind the scenes and how yeah. much work goes into our yeah, craft, not, into your easy. craft, it is hard. And then just to ask for a handout, it's, I think it's kind of tacky. It's not the, the right way to go about things. Get people's attention. That's how you're going to grow. You don't want somebody who doesn't even yeah, appreciate yeah. your content Absolutely. to be subscribed to you because it's an empty number. It's somebody who's like, oh, I don't know who this is. I'm not going to watch their content. Right, I'm right. just going to boast their numbers. It doesn't work like that in the world of YouTube. So yeah, I mean, and if you, if you show like you are working your butt off and you're constantly producing good edited videos, um, Hey, I will subscribe because yeah. you're, you're showing me that you know you're you're worthwhile for me to watch your channel. So all right, all right, we gotta move all on. Right, all right, gotta move on. Go. Here we go. Next video was hot mass truck got stuck in the mud trying oh to go gosh, fishing. <laughs> and this one right here is like multiple uh, comments that you all had left for Nick. And this one uh, I just picked Jay Santiago. Uh, I thought Tacomas never got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, guys. There's a lot of stuff that you don't see behind the scenes, right? A lot of you guys have been... I read those comments. A lot of you is like, hey, don't you have crawl control? Don't you have this? Blah, blah. Don't you guys think I already tried using that? I just dug myself a deeper <laughs> hole into the mud. I mean, trust me. Tacoma still gets stuck. I mean, it happened. It's a great truck. Don't get me wrong. That's the first time I've ever gotten stuck in anything. It's actually has gotten me out of sticky situations. But yeah, I've used every option I could, and the only option we had left was the yeah. toe straps. Pretty much, right? That was, <laughs> that was pretty like, much. That was yeah. all we were left yeah. up to. We, I, trust, Mark, yeah. did we not exhaust yeah. every single we option we had, right? It, it was man. If y'all would only have been a oh my god, a, like a fly inside a truck. Yeah, Y'all oh, would laugh at the buffoonery that took place. And day. on top of that, we left my kayak. We're yeah, such idiots, right? Yeah. We, we left my kayak, all my stuff in the back of the truck. We didn't bother to transfer it to Mark's truck just in case so it doesn't get stolen. So yeah. like on the way back, we're like, oh my God. You know, Open we, and praying. Because we didn't even think about that because yeah. we're thinking about getting a truck out. So, But luckily it was all there. So, Gosh. I'm just glad it was you. And Behind the scenes, man. You just don't know. <laughs> Okay, so this one right here is from the video. My son hates to eat fish, so I force him. Uh, funniest catch and cook to date. 
And the question is from Dustin Henderson. Man, look at this trader wearing an old town hat laughing, LMAO. <laughs> All right, Dustin, man. look, I mean, bottom line is, yeah, I use a Hobie kayak for right now because in my opinion, it's the best kayak for what we do. All right, we go in a skinny marsh, two feet of water or less, uh, we need a kayak that's going to be able to use the drive in that skinny of water. And don't get me wrong, the Old Town is an awesome, awesome platform. The Predator is one of the fastest kayaks I've ever ridden on. But it has its downfalls. It's not built for, you know, skinny water marsh fishing um, like, say, the Hobie is because of the drive system. So, but that doesn't mean that I absolutely don't like Old Town. I, that's not the truth. I absolutely, they're a great company, makes great products. If I was fishing majority freshwater or more bay fishing, jetty fishing, something that had more than three feet of water, I would, I would hands down pick the Old Town every single time. Would you agree? Yeah. I mean, it is a great, great platform. But once again, we fish skinny, skinny waters. Therefore, it makes the drive on the Old Town kind of, in a way, useless because we have to pull it up every single time. There's really never a time we actually put it down and use it because we're always push pushing pulling. Yeah, yeah. because it doesn't fold up like the Mirage Drive does. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, the Mirage Drive has, even though it's, it's great for what we use, there's also, also a lot of down points to the Hobie too. So Hobie's not a perfect company either. Uh, we find a lot of fault. We just don't say it, but there's, you know, there's it's no also, there's no such thing as a perfect yeah, platform. No, there's honestly. not. And it's also fair to say that uh, we're not getting paid by these yeah, companies to endorse their products. We're not. Absolutely uh, not. You know, if, if yeah. we do something with a Hobie, well, I, actually, I don't even work closely with Hobie at all. But uh, if we get something from Old Town, it's because they genuinely enjoy our yeah, honest exactly. opinion of exactly. their products. And yeah. what better way to show you all yeah, how absolutely. their product works? So. Absolutely. And uh, once again, Old Town is a great company. And yes. If we did different type of fishing, I would 100% guarantee you, I'd be in an Old Town right now. If I bass fish, I would. Oh, too. It, it would be superior town. for bass it would fishing be an old town. or bay fishing. You know, anything yeah. more. Anything, anything more. deeper. Yeah. yeah as absolutely. long as you get to keep it's the drive down. It's a down. beast. It's yeah. a beast. You yeah. get to keep that drive down. It's yeah. good. All right. So moving on to the next question, probably the final one. Yeah, I don't even fine. know how no, long no, that's we fine. went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fishing downtown Houston, can it be done? Question mark. That's oh, the title of Nick's video. <laughs> and I oh just, my God. This, this is just, just a little this, bit of this, humor. This brings back PTSD. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a heck of a trip. Uh, so I'm not going to mention the name, but uh, y'all will see it on the video. Uh, can I eat the fish? Question mark. So um, tell, tell them where well, we're fishing. Okay, okay, bottom line, if you don't know, downtown Houston has a bayou running right through it. It's called the Buffalo, right? Buffalo, yeah, Bayou, Buffalo Bayou. Buffalo Bayou. God, I've been living here. <laughs> Born and raised here, I can't remember. Buffalo Bayou. And everything that comes down in the rain drains into that Buffalo Bayou from downtown. So you have a lot of trash. You got a lot of debris. Sometimes you find bodies uh, because, you know, I mean, it's funny, but it's, it's, it's kind of sad. Some, there's a lot of homeless people in, that live around downtown Houston, around the bayou, and, you know, they unfortunately pass away. They could fall into water. Um, just the amount of trash and pollution that Houston has and is draining into our bayou, I would not even try to eat a crappie and i love crappie <laughs> i want to learn how to fish crappie okay i just i wouldn't do it would you do it oh heck no no we wouldn't yeah. i mean we caught white bass white bass is good to eat right yeah white when, bass is yeah. A, it's a fairly tasty do it right back in the water man because i'm you never know what's in that water um but on the flip side i think one of them had a syringe really just, no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> on the flip side um if, if you're fishing for a living and you're fishing for meat and you have no other choice and you got to do what you got to do. No, don't fish there. Go somewhere <laughs> else. Yeah, there's other better places to fish than downtown Houston. But yeah, bottom line, I wouldn't eat any of the fish in that bayou just because of the pollution factor. So that's the answer. Yeah, pretty much. That I thought we weren't going to get. I thought Nick was going to be a 
just a chucklehead. And just, oh yeah, go eat all you want, man. Yeah, like, well, no, yeah. of course not, man. I don't want you to eat you guys. There's plenty of fish there because nobody's yeah. keeping them, yeah. that's for sure. All right, so, so that's, that's all I have. I hope y'all enjoyed this little collab of a video on a day that we couldn't fish because yeah. then we're gonna get sick. So uh, yeah. if y'all enjoy this, I mean, uh, drop some, let us, let Nick know. Yeah, let me uh, know. Comment below if you want to see more of these type of videos kind of out of outside of our scope of you know fishing we're on the yeah, water but yeah. um i feel like it's a a video that you kind of get to know who we really are by answering these questions and um oh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i mean all you guys that watch my channel i really really do appreciate it. like i said in the past you guys are the reason why i keep doing what i'm doing and i'm growing um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much but yeah that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed and any last words mark no nope. Thanks Amen. for watching because all of you guys watching yeah. him and y'all didn't know me, well, go check my channel out. Check him out. All right, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.